It's July 13th, and on this day in 2004, Tales of Symphonia came to the US. Namco's Tales series has become one of the most popular RPG franchises in the world. It will never give Final Fantasy or Fallout a run for its money, but the Tales team seems to have found a perfect equilibrium of modest scope, manageable budgets, and loads of anime-style characters and tropes that appeal to a certain dedicated audience. A big part of Tales' durability can be traced back to Tales of Symphonia, which launched for the GameCube on this day 11 years ago. Symphonia wasn't the first Tales title to make its way to the US, but it was the first to become a smash hit outside Japan. Symphonia offered a perfect mix of ingredients to brew up a hit. It took the series beyond its dated-looking sprites with bold, vibrant 3D graphics. It was a deep, substantial RPG on the RPG-starved GameCube, and the series' trademark linear motion battle system style of combat which played as much like a simplified fighting game as a turn-based RPG, offered an appealing degree of accessibility for players who might not have been entirely familiar with the genre. Symphonia's new, more visually impressive approach to presentation lent the series' trademarks a certain degree of impact that hadn't quite landed in the older entries. The series had long featured little character-centric skits and cutscenes, but now they looked more like an actual anime. As a result, Symphonia quickly became a hit, not only opening the door for future Tales games to make their way to the US after a checkered localization history, but also whetting an appetite for role-playing games among Nintendo fans. In many ways, we probably have Symphonia to thank for the fact that games like Fire Emblem are no longer trapped in Japan. For US Gamer, I'm Jeremy Parrish. Please join us again tomorrow for another day in video game history.